Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on December the 30th, New Year's Eve Eve. <laughs> so anyway, we're coming to a close of this year and we are in the sixth day of Christmas. Our readings today, our first reading from the first letter of St. John, kind of goes through uh, everybody. Uh, he's writing, he says, to, to young, to old, to fathers, to mothers, to children, to uh, everybody, because the message of the gospel is meant for all of us, but we all have, like the gifts of the Holy Spirit, different charisms. We There's a purpose, an individual purpose for each one of us in our lives and in the message of the gospel uh, for each one of us as an individual. It's a personal uh, note from, from God. And in our gospel today, we, we hear of one of those. It's uh, Anna. Uh, this is right on the heels of uh, when, uh, oh my goodness, what was his name? Simeon. When Simeon uh, was uh, talking with Joseph and Mary as they presented Jesus in the temple, Anna too was there an elderly woman, a widow, <clears throat> who spent much time in prayer at the temple, and she too recognized the Savior in Jesus and proclaimed it openly to whoever wished to listen. So. Uh, here we're, we're seeing that regardless of our state in life, whether we're old or young, uh, we have a role to evangelize in whatever way we can through our, you know, it's really the best evangelization. It's not standing on a soapbox or behind a pulpit and preaching, but it's through your li living life in an example of living a life as Christ would live the life, being merciful, being kind, being truthful, honest, be just having good virtue and making uh, your life a good example, a role model for others. When they see us, they should see Christ in us. So regardless of your age or your state in life, God calls you to be his child and to be also his evangelizer. So let us pray as we close out this year. We're getting really close to a, a new year, a new beginning. But as we close out this year, let's, let's pray a, a, in, in a spirit of thanksgiving for the blessings of this past year and for the fact that we've made it to the end of another year. We're all uh, able to, to pray and to be uh, together at this time. So we, we thank God for the gift of life and for the gift of himself in our lives. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> you have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts in eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth. I have begotten you. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord and King. We are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. You have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts. In eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. With the Lord is unfailing love, great is his power to save. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. And Israel, let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Listen with compassion to our prayer, Lord. The forgiveness of sins is yours. Do not look on the wrong we have done, but grant us your merciful kindness. With the Lord is unfailing love, great is his power to save. In the beginning, before time began, the Word was God. Today he is born, the Savior of the world. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the beginning, before time began, the Word was God. Today he is born, the Savior of the world. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. The divine power of Christ has freely bestowed on us everything necessary for a life of genuine piety through knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power by virtue of them he has bestowed on us the great and precious things he promised so that through these you who have fled a world of corrupted a world corrupted by lust might become sharers of the divine nature The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. He lived among us, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. We sing your praises, Holy Mother of God. You gave birth to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Watch over all who honor you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. 
from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We sing your praises, Holy Mother of God. You gave birth to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Watch over all who honor you. Let us joyfully acclaim Christ, born at Bethlehem in Judea, for he gives nourishment and guidance to his holy people. Let your favor rest upon us. Christ, the Savior, desire of the nations, spread your gospel to places still deprived of the word of life. Draw every person to yourself. Let your favor rest upon us. Christ the Lord, let your church grow and extend the boundaries of its homeland until it embraces men and women of every language and race. Let, a, let your favor rest upon us. King of kings, direct the hearts and minds of rulers to seek justice, peace, and freedom for all nations. Let your favor rest upon us. Almighty ruler, strength of the weak, support those in temptation Lift up the fallen, protect those living in danger, console those who have been deceived, comfort the incurably ill, strengthen the faith of the anxious. Let your favor rest upon us. Consoler of the sorrowful, comfort the dying, and lead them to the fountains of living water. Let your favor rest upon us. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. All-powerful God, may the human birth of your Son free us from our former slavery to sin and bring us to new life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I turned those last two prayers around, but uh, we got them both in. Uh, forgive my error, but uh, worse things have happened, I'm sure. Um, God bless you all. Have a safe New Year's Eve tomorrow, and we'll see you then in the middle of it. Um, but uh, may God bless your new year coming forward. I will see you tomorrow.